Hi everybody and welcome to this Pro and Expert Division General Playthrough free video guide for the Easter Isles Tournament here on the BK Golf Clash YouTube channel. Please remember to hit thumbs up on the video if you would be so kind and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Totally free of course to do that and it does help me out here on YouTube. All right, general wind conditions here for the full nine of the uh, recently, or rather last year, it was reworked Porthello Cove. Some challenging holes here, but these approaches should help you get a good measure of the course in your tournament preparations. Timestamps are going to be in the video description down below. And check the channel for other divisions as well. We've got a rookie video and there will be an, another expert specific video there with some different wind angles to get you familiar even more with these tricky holes. Good luck everybody, here we go. On this par four, the best eagle opportunity is by playing the left hand side. We're gonna drive here with the extra mile, or you can of course use uh, a different driver if you wish. Three top spin and two bars side spin to the right. And then we adjust max plus 10. Obviously in a headwind scenario, then I would recommend you set a few yards further back and play with more top spin so that you don't really have to play or adjust into any overpower. So centering the ball and hitting perfect, 10%. Very good general elevation despite uh, your wind direction here. 10% working very nicely for me. And there's a nice slope away from the rough there. You don't want to drive too far because we want to be in wood club range for the second shot. So the rough is now smaller with this newly reworked course. Important to use at least two bar of right spin. If you don't use right spin, you will find a very glitchy area in the rough. So the reason I use the right spin is to find a consistent landing position. Got to position yourself very carefully here, a little bit of top spin aiming at the hole. This hole still plays uphill, even though it may look downhill in reality. So we're going mid minus. 15. You may need to alter the setup of this shot and indeed uh, the adjustment according to the wind direction. You might be adjusting up onto the green or down into the bunker. This will need a practice token or two and the slimmer rough has made this a more technical shot. I'm going to very quickly throw in another option here on hole one actually playing on the right hand side. If you've got crosswind or tailwind you won't need any overpower. 5.5 uh, topspin three right spin in fact i did play this one also with 5.8 top spin worked very nicely um like i said in headwind you might need to uh, set up further back and go with full op um, but with this wind angle and any tailwind you don't need any op so setting up at max distance with apoc five and above max plus 10 is the adjustment here and uh, the reason i'm showing you this one on the right hand side is this is actually a, a very nice funnel from the right hand side if you can get yourself into a good position which is a little bit more consistent than playing on the thin rough on the left so it's up to you whether you want to go for it drive distance is going to be around 365 uh, second shot will need to uh, modify the spin based on the wind angle but here i'm going with half a bar of top spin half a bar of left spin now look here at this funnel i'm moving about a ring and a ring and a half left and right either side and uh, that tip of the ball guide is not moving so a very nice little sit, uh, sticky spot here offsetting deliberately a green square short because of the tailwind um, in the video here i adjust mid plus 10 power three so it's about uh, one to one basically 7.1 rings obviously in tournament play you will need a reference but i just wanted to throw this one out there if you drive uh, longer than the sniper, you've still got a good chance here with a long iron if you really blast it down the fairway. Um, but it's a much less technical shot and a much uh, safer shot indeed uh, on the right hand side than the left. So you've got two options. Here we're going to bounce over with the sniper and always a side spin three ball. Uh, adding uh, just before half a bar of top spin and three right spin, I'm having the red ring touching the rough. And then the white ring is actually touching that darker rough there on the right. And we're aiming there with the ball guide onto the green, even with the side spin three ball, then we need to play with right curl as well here. Max plus 10 is the adjustment. The alternatives, you can bounce beyond the rough with backspin, either with the sniper or the guardian, depending on your wind direction. You can play a sniper rough bump as well, but beware, there are still a little uh, moment or two of fringe glitches 
here, so be careful you don't catch a fringe glitch if you're playing for the rough bump. Three quarter ball right curl bouncing over very nicely here, and unfortunately, my only issue here is that I've got too much top spin on. Uh, brilliant line, but it's coming in too hot. But that gives you an idea of a very nice and safe bounce over on this par three. But as I said, several routes to consider here. You've got to pick what suits you best and what is uh, best for the wind angle that you're going to be facing. Here we're going to play right hand side all day and every day. It is the best chance for the albatross. Going with the APOC for the curl. Uh, we're going with five top spin and three bars side spin to the left. In tailwind, I would reduce the top spin down ever so slightly. We need to make sure we clear the rough, but we don't want to roll too long into the furthest section of rough on that second fairway. A P3 max rest with APOC 4 would be plus 10 with APOC 5 and above. And here I am playing this one maximum distance uh, with 10% elevation. We will, of course, need to... Uh, use some curl but with APOC 4 I'm actually pushing back up to max just to make sure I clear it. Uh, headwind angles here you will need some overpower unfortunately. Three quarter ball curl to the left in this wind angle hitting perfect and the, the end of this fairway is giving us now a much nicer bounce. We could even have pushed it further if we wanted to and maybe have increased the curl as well but we're very safely on the fairway here not threatening the rough 375 yards. Uh, now here we want to be playing with our sniper if possible, which is why I don't want to go too long on the drive. I'm pushing up 10 rings from min in this instance, adding 3.5 backspin and aiming with the ball guide short of the hole due to the tailwind, but also pointing slightly left of pin. As you will see, the ball guide curves from the left to the right as the green slopes in that direction as well. True club distance or rings from min, 20% elevation. So 10 rings up from min here. Uh, I'm actually playing this one at 25% slider, uh, which for me, as you can see, there is about 6.7 rings, centering the ball and hitting perfect. Obviously, in headwind scenarios, if you want to push the drive a bit further, you can actually be in a nice spot to play from the minimum distance line in any headwind angle. can be very good as a reference, but there is a nice albatross. We're going to explore that little extended piece of fairway here with the extra mile and a kingmaker or a titan, to be honest. Six top spin and two bars left spin, and then I stretch out to max, and I'm aiming down the middle of that extended bit of fairway on the left hand side, letting my target fall back to the rest position, and then adjusting max plus 10 power three settings. Obviously, if any, any form of tailwind, we want to try and clear the stream. If you get a load of headwind, though, and you don't want to spend premium balls, then lay up and then attack the green with a, a wood club with a load of backspin. Whatever your drive distance is, you need backspin on this hole, unless you want to go for an aggressive rough bump with a load of topspin on that uh, severe bank before the green. So full overpower with a slow needle gets me to 400 yards. I'm in thorn range here, uh, so I'm going to try the max backspin shot, uh, max backspin and half a bar of left spin. And I'm playing this one true club distance with 35% elevation. We get a very lucky drop here, but it's only to give you an idea of the type of shot that you might want to play. Uh, this max backspin approach always needs more elevation than you think because of the high bounce. Um, alternatives, you could play the long iron. I would use the satin for the backspin. Hold nicely on the green. You might get lucky with a drop as well. Or, of course, you play with a long iron with a load of top spin and do a very risky but daring and aggressive rough bump on the slope for an eagle there. On the drive here, we're going to play right-hand side in this example. You could go down the middle of the hole as well, though. Both valid routes. You decide which is best. 5.8 top spin, 3 right spin, APOC favoured for the curl on this one. Red ring touching the rough with APOC 5 and above. At plus 10, APOC 4, you'd be fine here. You'd be at P3 max rest with 20% of the red ring overlapping the rough. Maximum distance, 10% elevation. In this wind angle, I'm going with two balls of curl to the right. You might need less curl if you've got wind from uh, left to right though, of course. And then we're hitting perfect. Bouncing very comfortably on the pad here. It will need a bit of overpower in headwind scenarios, but like I said, you've also got the central route if you don't fancy the more risky drive to the right. However, in my opinion, 
the right hand route gives you the best chance at the albatross could have pushed the drive a little bit further but still even with that drive we've got a good chance of dropping this one spins are going to vary here depending on the wind angle of course i'm offsetting deliberately right and short of the pin to compensate for the wind push uh, any headwind of course you want the ball guide through the hole tailwind direct tailwind you're going to need it short by about two to three green squares depending on the wind strength of course in this example here i'm at max distance of my club i adjust to max plus five and this is going to come in very nicely it's a good demonstration of the type of shot you might want to go with uh, if we were in a tournament scenario here it would have needed a little bit of a tweak to the ball guide but just showing you've got a very clear route down the right hand side following a successful drive very good chance to get an albatross here on this par five quite a few options here i'm going to show you a really aggressive rough bump which is the best chance for the hole in one any tailwind you can bounce over with your sniper on the middle of the three fairway pads looking from left to right you can also do a, a backspin shot with about six or seven bars of backspin landing on the same fairway as the green. But here I wanted to show you an aggressive rough bump. Four and a half backspin, one left spin and ball guide is pointing to the hole, stopping short. And then we are going to adjust as accurately as possible. It's very difficult to adjust accurately on this hole as it plays massively downhill. Max plus 50. Max plus 50. If you're bouncing on the fairway pad, you wouldn't need that much elevation because there's not that much of a drop of probably say 20 or 30 percent depending on your wind angle but we've had a good first look at this one little tweak needed there but a lovely speed and a good chance if you're feeling aggressive on this hole you either need to go with a power hook aiming way to the right of this uh, stretch of fairway which i'm aiming on now uh, or you need to go with a max curl shot with apoc four and above which i'm doing here for you five top spin three bars side spin to the left the important thing here is you need to tighten up your approach here there is not as much room on the right hand side of the green as there used to be max plus 10 is the adjustment then i'm going to go uh, with max curl with apoc fours about two and a quarter ball of curl and i'm going with two rings of overpower with a power three ball i would uh, be able to reduce that amount of overpower but it's still a slowish needle bouncing comfortably here but we've got to be careful here of not going too far right. Just look at that one. We are uh, only a little distance away from the rough. So you've got to be careful here to get the eagle. NMT tee shot here with the sniper. The spins needed will vary dramatically depending on the wind angle. Just look at the offset here. Three back spin, one left spin. Don't worry about the ball guide. It's showing that it's going to trail off the green. Even now this green is flatter and the pin is closer. It's still going to look a bit weird, but it's going to be OK. Mid plus 20. I like the NMT in crosswind, tailwind and cross tailwind. Any form of headwind, I would rather you set further back so you have room to adjust. So mid plus 20 uh, works well in uh, a variety of wind angles, actually. But like I say, the important thing is to take a token or two and get your spins right and your offset. Work out what's needed bouncing very very safely there down the middle and beautifully dropping for the hole in one finally you can play on this last par five out to the left and then down the long strip of fairway with a distance wood club um, but i actually favor the middle for pro and expert so we're going with a layup with the quarterback and a four top spin three right spin at p3 max rest with a white ring touching the rough on the right adjust max plus 10 and then I'm packing the Guardian for the second shot. Now, the idea here is to lay up fairly close to the rough without risking the rough so that we've got room to land very safely on the fairway without needing to push up or apply any overpower to our approach. So max plus 10 was our adjustment. Then I applied outer wall curl to the right. Be careful of that second bounce, though. Uh, safeguard it or aim slightly left if you want but you just want to approach the end of the fairway around 330 to 335 yards second shot going with the guardian a high level guardian will help because obviously lower levels don't have the distance but you're going to need approximately eight backspin and between one and two side spin to the right depending on the wind angle and then here i'm aiming deliberately short of pin we've got tailwind which is going to push us on a little bit further Max plus 10 as the example here, 
Of course, you could try a rough bump. You might well need the cataclysm, though, and a higher power ball if you wish to investigate that. Like I said, a few options to consider on this par 5. Albatross definitely not out of the question, but a very, very safe eagle with a tap-in playing with the Guardian like I did here. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clanmates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.